Chefs, what is the beef? Cam here, and uh, welcome to onboarding. Um, for anyone watching this live or even watching the replay, basically what we're trying to do in this call is we're trying to get very, very clear on everything that you need to know before you step into the group properly. So basically, you've gone through intro week, you've, you've seen all the information that you need. Now, for me, it's about reducing the overwhelm by getting you very clear on the essential things. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for the next half an hour here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through seven points or seven steps that are key. And if you're watching this in the replay, or even if you're watching this right now live, you need to have a pen and paper out and take a notes on this stuff. Because if you're just like, oh yeah, remember, you won't fucking remember. And I can tell you this for an absolute fact that anyone that is not showing some fucking get up and go at this stage in the game. Someone that's like, oh yeah, no, I'll watch it later. And you know, yeah, I don't need to take notes because I know what I'm talking about. Chances are you'll do this for a week and you'll drift off. I guarantee you that. So get your finger out, get your pen and paper out and let's go. First thing, chef. So I'm gonna share my iPad here, just so we're basically illustrating this stuff and, and making you guys clear on what you need to know. So the first thing here, as we pull over to the iPad, come on, come on, as the iPad is slow as fuck. There we go, okay, cool. Come on. Sorry about this, boys, give us a second. Okay, lovely, so first thing, lads, is, <clears throat> Outcomes and goals. If you don't have this mapped out now, we're gonna do it right now, okay? So this should have been done in the constructing you and facts part of onboarding. But it's like, you know, do you have a clear outcome in mind for your time in Chef Fit? Do you have clear goals in mind? Because if you just got wishy-washy shit going on, like you're gonna get wishy-washy results. So get clear on what you need to know. So first off, let's, let's just break it down like this. This is you in the middle. Okay, so on both sides here, you got physical goals, and then you've got mental. That could even be life or character goals as well. So on the physical side of things, guys, like what do you really want? You know, down one side, then the other side. So let's start off with physical. How much weight do you need to lose? You know? What clothes do you want to be wearing six months from now? What are your energy levels going to be like? Are you waking up, hitting the snooze button several times, or are you straight at it? You know, these are the kind of questions we need to ask ourselves. Um, <clears throat> you know, weight, clothes, energy, that's a physical standpoint. And even if you wanted to go diving into at a deeper level, you wanted to go into like fitness and general health, but really guys, I would start off with just weight, clothes, and energy from a physical standpoint. And even if it's not, even if it's not a, uh, even if it's not, oh, I have to lose a load of weight, it's still a case of, I want my body to look a certain way, you know? I still want my body to look a certain way. That gives me that sense of confidence. From a psychological point of view, you know, is it, I'm happy, you know? Um, like, I've got the headspace to deal with stress or family. Like these are all very, very important points to nail down. Um, <clears throat> I would also say productivity. So if you can kind of get a sense of what you really want here, guys, all of a sudden things get very clear. So it's like your outcomes should be one, if my pen would work, one, three, come on, and six months, okay? So if we can nail down a one month, three month, and six month goal, happy days. I need to lose two kilos in a month or five kilos in a month. I need to lose 10 kilos in three months. And I want to lose 15 to 20 kilos in six months, for example. You know, I want to go from fitting in an XL t-shirt to fitting into a medium t-shirt. 
I want to wake up every day energetic and happy. I want to be able to play with my kids for more than five minutes without running out of breath. I want to wake up on my day off and be productive and smash things out and not feel like I have to sit down on the couch because I'm so lethargic, for example. These are the outcomes, lads, yeah? So if you can get those nailed down now, and if you have a pen and paper, I want you to jot down something similar for me, okay? And have them in your mind. So that's the, that's the first thing. You have a clear goal in mind. The second thing then would be looking at what it takes. So what does it actually take? What does it take to get results? This is the most important question we can ask today. And the reality is this, lads, that you, thanks, baby, um, you must be the driver of your results, okay? You must be the driver of results. So that basically means, lads, that like you have to attack this. You have to have the mindset that I'm gonna make this happen. Because what happens to some people is, and this is not, this is definitely the few, like I've had most people in Chef Fit, most of the lads in there are absolutely smashing it right now. Completely changed their life, 180 change. You've got guys who are losing 15, 20. Got the, Kenny's lost 20, let me see, he's lost 28 kilos since he started. You know what I mean? In five months, he's lost 28 kilos. Completely changed his lifestyle, stopped eating sugar, has completely revamped himself. There's several guys who, who are doing that. But there's, there's always going to be a few stragglers. And there's one or two guys that will come in here and it's like they're all excited getting off the phone with me and, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a change this time. But you treat it the same way that you treated just getting a gym membership before, which is flimsy and fucking ill-disciplined bullshit. So you need to get your head out of your arse. If it's, if it's up there now, get your head out of your arse. If you're motivated and you're ready to rock, good. But we need to get in the frame of mind that we're going to make this happen. And it must be you. I can't save you, lads. Do you understand? And the, that breaks down into three parts. It's like the first thing, the first principle that you have to operate like this in, in Chef Fit. You must take ownership. So what does that mean, lads? If you take ownership of something, it basically means that everything is happening as a result of your actions, not because, or sorry, not to you. There's a lot of victims out there, a lot of people that blame work, blame shit, blame family, blame being tired, blame all of these things, but it never fixes it. If you take ownership, you realize that, yeah, sure, this might be happening to me, but I do accept responsibility for it and I have to fix that shit, okay? This basically means no excuses, only solutions. No excuses, only solutions. You run into a problem, figure it out, ask for my help, whatever you need to do, but do not go missing, do not go playing the blame game because it's just not gonna get you anywhere. Second thing, discipline equals freedom. Do you know why your energy levels are so low? It's because you were so ill-disciplined with your rest, your nutrition, and your exercise that your body has started to break down. It's like your body doesn't lie to you. If you're disciplined and you treat yourself well, you know what I mean? If you get up and you can go for a walk, or you can go for a run. If you can get up and you can eat the right foods, if you can go to bed on time and have a routine in around bed, all of a sudden you have more energy. All of a sudden you have a better feeling in your body, you have well-being, you're happier. You know, you're more fulfilled, you're more satisfied, you're more productive. All of these things give you freedom. You know, and it gives you freedom to live a life that's actually worth living, but it only comes from discipline. So throughout this program, lads, you need to stick to the program. Follow it to the letters. Follow it to the T. Don't deviate. You know, don't accept any less from yourself. You'll look back in a year from time. If you could put yourself in the fucking, you know, frame of mind to make this happen the next six months, lads, you'll look back in a year and go, I'm so happy I did that. I'm so happy I did that. And you will be. And you have to be disciplined. How do you tie all of these together, lads? Teamwork. So Chef Fit is a tribe. This is the most important part of Chef Fit, I think. It's like, it's a tribe. We have a, the ownership and discipline is our culture. This is how we operate as a, as a crew and as a, as a brotherhood, let's say. But teamwork is like, you lads will be challenged weekly as a group, you know, to make things happen. And you're going to have to band together and use each other as, you know, support. Lads, I fucked up today. You know, I need help on this. I'm unsure about this. Obviously, I'll be there to help you as well. But it's also posting up about your food photos. It's posting up about, you know, what training you're doing, how training is going, you know, how your life is going, is there problems you're dealing with in your personal life. That is teamwork. 
basically, lads, you're using Sheffit as leverage. Can't even spell leverage. As leverage, okay? That's the key thing. You're leveraging the group for your own success. So you must drive your own results. You must take ownership of everything in your life. Don't make excuses. Only find solutions to them, okay? I'm here to show you that and coach you on that throughout. Discipline equals freedom. Follow the plan to the fucking letter, okay? If you can do that, it will give you freedom in every other aspect of your life. And then teamwork. Leverage the team. Leverage me. Leverage the lads in the group. Leverage everybody in order to push yourself forward because we're here to help. We're here to support you and we're here to drive your results so that's what it takes to get results lads okay now let's let's actually dive in let's dive into uh to our training and if you have any questions on this i just want you to hold them to the end and i'll answer them um after i get through this because i'll smash it out then we'll answer questions and make sure you guys are clear on everything you need to know so the first thing then that we need to look at with training just getting my uh, thing up here so the first thing that we need to look at with training it's just the schedule, lads, okay? So I, t I expect you guys to be doing three lifting sessions. That's in the gym, three lifting sessions. Three cardio. Now for you guys at beginner, that's literally gonna be a walk and a jog once a week. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna go for two walks and two jogs. Um, and then I just expect you on a Sunday or whatever your day off is, ideally it's a Sunday, um, is just a walk, you know what I mean? That could be going for a walk with the family, the missus, whatever it is, guys. But that, that's, that's the quota. Three gym sessions, three cardio sessions, one walk. And that might seem like a lot right now, but it's not. It's just an every, this is just a way we operate, and it's just a daily thing for you. It's a daily ritual uh, doing your exercise, okay? So the first week might be difficult, but your energy is going to be through the roof after the first week. You know, you're going to feel good about yourself again. You're going to start losing weight, and you're going to get why you need to be doing this. So that's our quota. What's the, what's the schedule? So if we imagine I'm writing the days of the week here. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, okay? So lads, if we've got three lifting sessions, I actually split them up over uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that is day one, gym. Wednesday is day two, gym. And then <clears throat> Friday is day three, gym. And you'll see this when I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about Trainer Eyes now in two seconds, okay? That's your app. So Tuesday then would be cardio one. Thursday, cardio two. Saturday, cardio three. Sunday is your walk. <clears throat> Got the hiccups there, apologies. Now, looking at this in even more depth, what else do we need? So, basically on a Monday morning, I'll actually just move this down a small bit. On a Monday morning, lads, what's gonna happen is, and this happens every single Monday, <clears throat> You're going to do your weigh-ins. So once you set up your profile on TrainRise, I should have sent you all an invite by now. Just let me know straight away um, after this if you haven't received that. But weigh-ins, okay, photos, and measurements. That's key. That's a ritual every Monday morning. Before you eat breakfast, take a piss, get up, do your weigh-ins, do your photos, and do your measurements. All right? So weigh-in. I want you to weigh in every single week at the same time on an empty stomach. So that could be a Monday morning at 9 a.m. before you have breakfast, for example. Okay? That has to be done at the same time. You need consistency across the board. Second thing, photos. So <clears throat> the thing with photos is I want you to go topless photo, front, side, and back, okay? Get someone else to take the photo or take it yourself in the mirror, I don't care. And if you're self-conscious right now, you should be. That's why we're here, okay? You're not the only one who's self-conscious. Don't worry about it, I'm not taking the photos and fucking throwing them out to the world right now, okay? It's a matter of us seeing the progress in you. And in six months time, you can look back on a photo of yourself at your heaviest and go, fucking hell, I've made a massive change. You know, when you've actually lost all that weight and you're in the condition that you wanna be in. The last thing then is measurements. So I'll have you do tape measures. It's an optional one. I would recommend you do it. Uh, I've put a video into Trainerize. You'll see it in your calendar. It'll pop up. It'll tell you how to do measurements. Okay? Um, and that's basically, you'll measure your chest, um, your waist, your arm, and your leg. Just to give you an indication, weight can't, uh, isn't always the accurate uh, one. So guys, again, 
three lifting sessions, three cardio, one walk, and that's how we split it up. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for lifting, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for cardio, and then Sunday is for a walk. Why do we split them up over those days? Because it gives you enough time to recover. If you lift three days in a row, your body is going to be fucking bursting into flames. So we need to give it that time, all right? So that is, that is training schedule, okay? Now, what do we actually need to focus on in the gym, boys? Well, there's definitely a couple of things that we really, really need to nail down. So with Chef Fit, and you might have seen this in the training video, you should have seen this in the training video. That is a terrible triangle. Give us two seconds there, boys. There we go. Okay, so there's a hierarchy here. So the down below, guys, and I'll just explain this. I'll get it down on paper first. So Body basics, then progressive overload, then cardio, <clears throat> and then the last thing is recovery. Okay, so we look at body basics as number one, number two, number three, number four, in order of importance. So the, the biggest thing that you lads need to focus on, main focus, Lads, numero uno, body basics. You need the technique behind the movements of squatting, hinging, push, pull. There's core exercises as well. There are types of exercises that are very important, but squatting technique-wise, hinging, push, pull. These are absolutely essential to nail down the technique for. So you need to watch the videos in the Trainerize app. Okay. When you see it and I'll add you to your training plans after this call, you know, can you perform the squat, the hinge, the push and the pull properly? That's the key thing here, you know, and I don't care about progressive overload is making training harder over time. So your body doesn't plateau. Cardio would be actually are we working our heart and lungs regularly and then recovery is do we have enough time to recover in between sessions but it doesn't none of that matters if we don't have body basics and you're not going to change how your body looks or feels if you don't master these things so yeah it might take you six months before you're you know an absolute master at them it takes it like i've been doing this for 10 years and i'm still getting better at them but it's a case of Focus on the technique of those movements that's your main thing here my recommendation is you can do two things send me a video of your technique on an exercise so that could be the box goblet squat whatever it is send me a technique video and i'll critique it and send it back to you or if you really want to be cheeky i would ask a pt for a session usually pts will do like a free session and what i would say is just to just go up to them and tell them listen i need to learn the technique on this this and this can if i give you 20 or 30 quid will you show me how to do it and chances are they will say yes and that will put you ahead massively on what you need to do okay so again guys main focus learn how to squat hinge push and pull and then get your core exercises done properly you'll find the technique in the videos that are in your program if you're unsure send me a video and i'll critique if you want to take it a step further ask a pt for one session <clears throat> pay them 20 or 30 quid and boom bob's your uncle mary's your auntie right lads let's keep it moving so the the only thing then the last thing with training is this sorry and i'm i just need to jump back over to the ipad Okay, cool. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so you look in the programs then. <clears throat> there are three difficulty levels. We all share in the same pain and chef it. You know what I mean? Like there's we're all we're all at varying experience levels. Let's clear my throat with a bit of coffee here. Hold on. <clears throat> we're all at varying experience levels, but the key thing is that we're all sharing in the same pain. So we're all doing like, let's say it's a chipper workout and you'll see that in trainer eyes and you'll learn what that is, but it's a similar type of workout, but I've changed the difficulty. So guys who are newer coming in can still experience the same thing as the more advanced guys, you know, and that, that gives us a huge amount of, uh, it gives us a huge amount of unity as a group and it keeps everything very competitive and it keeps everything very supportive because we're not all just doing random shit. We're actually on the same race together. So there's three difficulty levels. First thing is beginner. 
you have intermediate and you have advanced. Okay, abbreviate those ones. So basically, lads, it's like simple, medium, complex. That's all it is. You know, we're all doing squats, we're all doing hinges, we're all pushing, we're all pulling, and we're all working our core. But you beginner guys who are stepping in now, you are doing slightly simpler exercises and maybe less intense sessions, but you're still doing similar stuff. Like the nature of what you're doing is not changing. It's just the degree that we're using it, if that makes sense. So beginners, you guys are going to step in. I want you to at least do the beginner workouts for two weeks, okay? Or till you're comfortable to move on. And you'll see in the chef's path, and I won't confuse you too much, but in the chef's path, you'll see that there's actually specific weights that you need to hit the standards. Um, <clears throat> you would have seen that in video eight, Chef Fit Milestones. So anyway, beginner level, you're gonna stay there for two weeks at least, or till you're ready to move on and you feel you're comfortable and you can hit the weights required. Okay, I can talk to you about that at a later date, but we're talking about just getting you started. So beginner sessions, that's where you start. After that then, you move to beginner. You'll do beginner for a month or a couple of weeks, whatever you're comfortable with, and then eventually you'll move to the most complex, which is advanced. Now, the reason I want you to move to advanced is because these more complex exercises have more potential. It's like having a sharper sword, you know, to go into battle with. It's the same thing here. It's like you're starting off simple, boom. Once you master that, you sharpen the sword even more. Once you master that, you sharpen it even more. But the idea is to get a really, really sharp sword. All right? So that's our three difficulty levels. And the last thing then, on Trainerize, which you should have downloaded on your phone by now, okay? If you haven't done so already, you need to go and do it after this. I'm going to be adding you guys to your, I'm going to be adding you to your program okay, after this call. So you're going to see your calendar um, and everything that you need to do going forward, okay? So on Trainerize, guys, your task is this. Check into sessions. How do we do that? Calendar. After calendar, what you need to do is, you know, go to like Monday, then it would be like day one, <coughs> beginner, and then check in, and then track. So you'll track your weights, okay? So these two things are absolutely essential for right now. Track and check in. Check in to see that you've done it. Track is like, okay, right, I did 10 kilos on this weight are on this exercise. I did 15 on the other exercise, for example. Okay. That's what we mean. That's your task for trainer eyes, lads. Get that down on paper. Okay. Check into sessions. You go there on the app, calendar, go to Monday, day one beginner, check in, track. That's what I expect done tomorrow. All right. So that's training done. Now let's move on to nutrition. I'm going to make this very simple on nutrition, boys. So the first things then that we need to look at is First off, I, you'll notice something about nutrition that I avoid a lot of contology, as in I don't really like complex things. I don't really like people bringing in things that, you know, you're, you're throwing too many spanners in the works and you're setting yourself up to fail. If you put a simple thing in place, all you have to do is show up and execute on it, you know? If you complicate things and you try and act like the big fella, oh, well, I've got fucking my fitness pal and I'm eating X amount of protein. Cool, see how, you, how long you can sustain that about fucking five days and then you'll drift and then you go back to the same bullshit you were doing before. So the key thing here about nutrition is keep it fucking simple. Now, how do we keep it simple? This is your step. This is your process every week, lads. This is what I need you to do. Okay. Number one, shopping. You'll see on the nutrition plan, um, that, you know, I've got the essentials in there. This is something that I want you to follow the plan to the letter for the first couple of weeks. Once you get a feel for what you're doing, guys, you can start personalizing things as long as they fit within the parameters. But like shopping for one week. Okay, for example, bacon, eggs, and spinach for breakfast. Make sure you've got like 15 rashers in your fridge. Okay, make sure you've got at least 20 to 25 eggs. For example, that's what I mean by shopping for a week. 
And um, the second thing then, once you get your shopping done for a week, then prep and batch. So I'll usually do this like on a day like today, I'll do my prep and batch on a Sunday, right? What that basically means is, stop trying to think it has to be the ultra cleanest food ever. I'm eating like a superfood salad that made me, you know, it took you like fucking 20 minutes to make it every day. It's like, that's not realistic. We need to prep and get ahead of ourselves. So like today I will cook a, I think I'll cook a, a turkey stir fry, let's say. Now I've bought a fuckload of veg. I've bought, you know, about nearly two kilos of turkey breast. And I will take those out, prep all my stuff, and I'll cook it off. And it'll take me less than an hour, you know. And I will have enough there cooked for the week. And I'll prep that. I'll batch it up so we'll cook a large quantity of it on a Sunday. And then I'll freeze half of it. And then I'll put the other half in the fridge. Do you know what I mean? Very, very simple. And what do these meals actually make up? That is lunch and dinner. Okay? So lads, your breakfast should be in the fridge. That should be your porridge, your power porridge, as I said, with your protein powder, or you have your bacon, eggs, and spinach. That's your two breakfasts. If you want to shake it up, add some fucking smoked salmon in the mix, all right, if you've got the money. But for the most part, your lunch and dinner that you're going to be having at work or at home at night or whatever time in the day, it's prepped and it's batched ahead of time, so you don't have to think about it. We're taking the thinking out of this shit completely and utterly, okay? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That simple. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. If you do it as you go and you're winging it the whole time, lads, I'm telling you for a fact, you're going to be up shit creek. Get your fucking prep done, batch it for the week, freeze half of it, half of it in the fridge. I hope that's coming in loud and clear. Then the last things then that we need to look at is the structure. So what is the structure? Well, as I said, lads, super simple. It's three meals and two snacks. The three meals are essential, the two snacks are optional, okay? Your three meals, as I said, could be wake up, bacon, eggs, spinach, cherry tomatoes for breakfast, okay? Lunch could be, I cooked off a chili con carne, I'm gonna have that with rice for lunch, that with rice for dinner. So if you have those three meal, meals, boom, you have completed the plan for the day. That's all I need you to do. Now, two snacks, that could be a protein shake, it could be a piece of fruit, it could be a handful of nuts. Just don't be a dickhead with the snacks, okay? Um, even a protein bar. Just don't go mad on the quantity. One protein bar maximum. So that's your structure, lads. Okay, and you'll see uh, examples of snacks in the plan. Then the last thing is going to be task. So what's the task with nutrition, lads? This is what I need you to do. Take food photos. Why? Because I need you to be accountable. We are going to hold you accountable as you go through. You're going to put food photos in the group daily. So every single night I want you to post up three or four meals that you've had. Ideally it's your three meals and your two snacks. And then even if it's a picture of you in your training session or after your training session, something to show us that you're still alive and you're following the plan. Okay lads? So again, keeping it simple. Shop for a week, make sure you have everything you need. Prep and batch. Cook up a large hearty, nutritious meal that will last you a week. If it's a chili con carne, it's a curry, it's a fucking stir fry, it's a stew, you know? Don't be complicated, don't be a dickhead. Good hearty stuff and freeze half of it, put half of it in the fridge, take a day during the week to do that. Your structure is three meals, two snacks, and your task is food photos. Now the last thing I would have said on nutrition lads is just like, okay, right, we don't track calories, because I don't believe that you need to be complicating it and committing to that right now. You're a chef and you're fucking busy. So what do we need to do here? Well, first off, greens are the key. So half your plate should be greens. Then a third of your plate should be protein, lean meat, okay? And then the other half, the small quarter of your plate, that should be starches, so rices, rice, potatoes. Cut the bread, cut the pasta from now on. 
Cut the bread and cut the pasta and cut the shit. No more sugar, no more bullshit. You need to cut that stuff out of your life because it hasn't surged up to this point until you have a full grip on a chef. It'll take you a week to get over the sugar cravings. That's fine. But once you do, you'll break through onto the other side. Um, so lads, that's a, control and portions are key here. Absolutely key. Then as we move forward, getting into the last few bits. <clears throat> so I'll just get rid of this screen here. Coaching schedule. And again, lads, any questions, wait till the end. Okay, what is the coaching schedule? How am I going to coach you every day? Well, by dropping the fucking pen on the iPad is probably not the best way. Okay, boys. So, <clears throat> last few bits. We have three methods of coaching you. and Indeed, I have three methods of coaching you. The first one. The hot seat. What is a hot seat? A hot seat coaching call, guys, is when you've hit a wall or you've hit an obstacle and you've lost motivation and you're unclear on what you need to do. Um, and maybe maybe it's just you, you're unsure about a couple of things and a bit of self-doubt has creeped in. In those situations, you need to apply for a hot seat because a hot seat is where me and you will get on a call like this and we'll actually talk face-to-face and I will break down and figure out exactly what you're struggling with. And then we'll put a game plan together and give you like a very, very clear path on what you need to do to get yourself out of the shit. Okay. And that will happen along the line. You know, it's not all plain sailing. There will be hard times. Life will happen. And this is the whole point of me coaching you throughout this. You don't go missing. You just reach out and we get you clear on what you need to do. So you apply for that. I put up an application into that every Sunday. So don't worry about finding it. There is a link in the group though. Um, and guys, that is Mondays, Monday, 10 a.m. Now, if you apply for one and you can't do Monday at 10 a.m., we'll find a time elsewhere in the week. But for the most part, they're Monday, 10 a.m. They are streamed live in the group. If you're not on it, I still expect you to watch it. Why? Because I do a training session and a coaching session beforehand where I'll train you on some topic, training, nutrition, or mindset. So that's the hot seat. Then secondly is the round table. Okay, so as we move forward, the round table, <clears throat> that is Wednesday, 10 a.m., and then Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Now, what is a round table? A round table is basically, imagine that you're at a round table with a load of people that you know. So this is where all of the chefs in the group get a chance to jump on board. I will train you and coach you on something at the start of every single coaching call, hot seat or round table. And the idea is I'll spend 10 to 15 minutes going through that, give you some clear information that you can take forward and power yourself with. And then after that, we'll take about 30 to 40 minutes and I will basically go one by one through each of you and figure out exactly what's gone well, celebrate the wins that we have, and then see what you're struggling with and see if I can get you clear on what you need to do the next week. Okay, the idea is hot seats and round tables for you guys, attendance is compulsory for the first while. It's compulsory for the first couple of weeks. It's essential that you be on them. Okay, if you go missing off these, you will go missing. I'm telling you, lads, where there's smoke, there's fire. If you disappear in the first couple of weeks and you're not showing up where you need to be, where do you think you're going to be three months from now? Nowhere. You need to establish your habits and your routines and your rituals in these first couple of weeks. So one of your rituals is going to be hot seats in the morning, you know, or round tables and watching the training. The last thing is Cam's Corner. These are basically my live videos where I, I will go through and teach lessons that I've learned to myself, okay? They're highly motivating for you guys, and they should be, because I've tried to adapt everything that I go through um, and show you that I'm not far from perfect and that I'm on the journey with you. And the idea is, in these live videos, is motivation and clarity. But really, it's about mindset. Adopting a very, very strong mindset towards what you're doing. Okay, if you can get across all of these things, like the Cam's Corner, expect them three times a week. Okay, expect them three times a week, maybe even four. Um, usually Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday. So guys, these are, this is your coaching schedule. You need to be involved in these, okay? Make sure you watch the live videos in the group, either live or 
if you if you can't, you watch the replay. Hot seats and round tables, I expect you to be on either one of those round tables for the first couple of weeks. And if you're struggling at some point, you apply for a hot seat. So that's the coaching schedule. Now, the last thing that I need to break down before I let you go and bring you on and just ask you, um, are you are you ready to rock? Is the attendance. Lads, as I said, set your intention from the start. Be at the fucking calls. Watch the videos. Be involved in the group. Okay? Can't state that enough. So breaking it down tasks for the boys right first thing <clears throat> if you haven't done so already contracts they need to be signed okay i'm going to go and check them if they're not if i haven't received those yet you won't be starting simple as i need them there guys i need them done so the contract from the welcome email needs to be done second thing then is <clears throat> going to be Trainer eyes. Check into session. Okay. Second task is food photos. Every night. Okay. The last one. You're going to love this. In big fucking capitals. You lads are going to go live in the Facebook group. You're going to do a live video into the Chef Fit VIP group, okay? And you're going to introduce yourself. So, who you are and why you're here. Simple as. Hi, my name is Cameron. Um, <clears throat> and... I've been a chef for X amount of years and I am here because I want to lose the gut and get my energy back and start living the life that I want to live. And my reasons for doing it are boom, 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 you know, something along those lines. This is a brotherhood that you're stepping into. It's a very strong culture and you're going to become a part of that. But in order to become a part of that, lads, you can't just drift in and expect to be welcomed with open arms randomly. You need to introduce yourself and show us who you are. Okay. So who are you? Why are you here? And realize that everyone that sees your video, the lads who are in the group, there's 46 chefs in that group now, um, they've been through exactly what you're going through and they will support you throughout this journey. So this is you being willing to be vulnerable and explain why the fuck you're here. You know, it's so important, lads. We've all done it. Nobody likes doing it. It's fine. No one gives a shit. But right now, lads, it's essential that you get that done in the next day. Okay, so by tomorrow night, I expect everyone's live video to be done in the group. I will be on you if it's not done, all right? And if it's not, in fact, if it's not done, you just you, you won't enter the group. I will kick you out of the group, simple as. So contract sign, boys. Trainerize, check into your sessions, okay? You'll see that. I'll add just the program after this call. Food photos. I want you to take photos of everything you eat for the next couple of weeks, okay? And post them in the group, and you'll see all the other chefs doing it as well. And then I want you to go live in the Facebook group in the next day or two. I'm going to add you to the Facebook group. Well, actually, you can join the Facebook group yourself as soon as you hear this call. Just look, Chef It VIP group on Facebook, and then request to join, and I'll accept you on board, okay? Um, lads, that is onboarding in a nutshell okay um let me see let me see let me see um so we've only got dave here uh, so i'm just going to bring dave on and just make sure that dave is 100 percent clear anyone watching the replay Jesus, mother of god dave how are you my man good yourself not too bad chief not too bad how's things good good, good. yeah okay okay good. heavy night last night you had a heavy night last night yeah a uh, uh, mate's one year remembrance okay jesus christ man have you, was it a late enough one, was it? Um, about one o'clock. Okay, not the worst. Not the worst in the world. Yeah. Last blowout. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I'll take bigger. lots of notes anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Dave, ju just, just kind of recapping over, over what we were talking about there. So is there anything that you're unsure about or you're unclear of right now? No, everything is fairly clear. Um, just on my nutrition, yeah. can I do a couple of batches and switch them up? Yes. So say if I do a chili and a curry and a stew, do it all on Sunday and then switch them through? 
that would be very smart. If you can, if you can get three pots of stuff on the go and you can cook it off, happy days. I, I would just say it is sheer. If you, if you, if you have the headspace to do it, man, absolutely go for it. Uh, Sundays are going to be the way forward, yeah. Yeah, yeah, happy days. Um, and I just, I just think, Dave, like it's, it's, it's so, it's so essential right now for you to, you think about the nutrition plan and and the simplicity of it. It's essential for you to remove the easy option for your brain, if that makes sense. Like if you don't have the food prepped and it's not there, chances are it's like, okay, right, I'll run into the shop and I'll grab some shite, you know, and I'd, I, 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 um, and, and that does happen, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's the idea of the prep and that's the idea of getting ahead of ourselves. So all we've got to do is just ensure that that doesn't happen. So yeah, no, absolutely. You, this, I, I am marking a path for you. Okay. And I am, I am creating a path for you. And it's like, right, this is your destination. You need to create um, your own footsteps as you go through this, you know, and that's the, that's the essential thing here. So again, Dave, on nutrition points, that's, um, that's absolutely fine. Rock on whatever you need to do. All right. Um, other than that, is there any, uh, is there anything that you're unclear about, about the training, about the group, any stuff like that? No, I think everything's clear. Um, I'm going to go down and, and join FlyFit tomorrow morning. Perfect. Perfect. As per your suggestion, don't join it beforehand. So I'll do that tomorrow. Yep. Or possibly later on today. Okay, good stuff. Uh, and I'm with, you, I'm with you for the six months. Yep, that's what I'd like to hear, Dave. So ju- ju- just making things clear then. Um, so the Trainerize app, I'm going to add your program to that now. So you might, you'll have that on your phone, right? Very, very, it's so, so straightforward. Like you'll literally... Do I download the app? Yeah, yeah. Download it on your phone. You would have got an email. If not, I'll 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 go into Trainerize now and I'll resend the email invite to you. It'll say just set up your profile. You set up your profile, pop in your details, um, and then from there, what you'll see is it's a calendar and it's mapped out. So it's like Monday. Click in day one beginner video demonstration, written description on how to perform. Absolutely everything there. You know, so very very straightforward. Um, obviously, I want you to give me a shout if there is any questions on it. It might take you a couple of days to get a full grip on, on Trainerize. After that, it's a piece of piss. It's very, very simple. Um, so that's, that's all you need um, in terms of going to the gym. Take your time. Don't try and be a hero the first couple on, of weeks. On, on the hot seats and, and round tables, um, mornings are fairly heavy Not for, for, you. Shorts, for yeah. shorts for chefs. I've got to contact them and let them know that shit isn't happening. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll try and get in as much as I can. Yeah, even if, if it's just missing, popping on for five minutes, Dave. Even if it's just popping onto a round table for five minutes, just on the phone. If you're out and about, that's absolutely grand. Or it's a Saturday morning, whatever, whatever you could do. In the future, I'm going to be adding different dates because I understand I've got guys in different time zones. I've got guys who are on different schedules, and not everyone. Some people, some of you guys are working in the mornings. So I'm going to uh, over the next couple of months that will change. Um, so for the moment, all we've got to do is just make our best attempt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what else have we got to uh, to go through? I'm pretty sure that's uh, that, that's more or less boxed off, mate. You get your prep done food wise. You join your gym. Um, I'll send you that invite to Trainerize, and then I'll just get you into the VIP group now, um, and we'll take it from there. But anyway, all right, well, look, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also a, a, a bit scared. But should be 100, percent and that's totally normal, Dave. It's totally normal. Totally normal. Let's kick it out of the park. Yeah, absolutely. All you got as long as the effort is there, that's. Like you're not you're not trying to compete and be a hero with someone. That's that's the only way fear would come in. Maybe it's walking into the gym for the first session or two and it's like, fuck, what are those people thinking? But it's like really all of these they're perfectly natural things and everyone goes through that. Well, through- even even the wife has said, even in the last week, my demeanor has changed because I've changed something in my life. Yeah, exactly. She's like you're 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 a different person. Amazing, really, already. Yeah, already. And that's just mm-hmm. change of mindset. So that is that is the most important start that we can possibly yeah. make, and uh, it's setting your standard from the start. So now, this next week for you is going to be massive, and all we got to do is just show up. That's it. Just show up, and you get the stuff done. Boom. After next week, you will have a full grip on absolutely every part of your lifestyle that we're dealing with, and it's just a matter of just adding a brick into the wall every single day. You know. Okay. Um, and I guarantee over the next couple of months, Dave, that this transformation is going to be pretty astronomical. So. Well, um, those leather pants are, are calling. That's, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm expecting yeah. a picture. Um, right. a framed picture on the wall. <laughs> well, now, come on, I don't know about that. But... <laughs> see, right. we'll see. Yeah. There's always hope. Um, yeah. Okay, Dave, so you're clear on what you need to do, yeah? Yeah. 
Okay, good man. Um, no. And lads, anyone else watching the replay, any questions that you do have, I want you to get on to me straight away and I'll get them answered for you. Other than that, boys, very simple from now on. Okay, very, very simple. Check into your training sessions on Trainerize, get your food photos done, okay, and get involved in the group. That's it. Other than that, lads, this is the start of an amazing journey for you. Um, congratulations on getting this far. And you have become one of the selected few. So let's fucking do it. Um, big couple of months. Chefs, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Right. Dave, cheers, mate. Thank you.